Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at something amazing. This is going to change your life. Make sure you're connected. Make sure you're updated. Make sure you hit that notification button. We're going to be continuing from last week, baby. We're going to be looking at the story of Hagar. So what we're going to be talking about the most. Five signs it's shown God's blessing has arrived in your life. Look, guys, this is going to be wonderful. This is going to be great. You have to be a part of this. And obviously, you will be blessed. When you subscribe, you can start to be part of the family. It's like being born again. And we just teach you how to be before ever been in a situation where you're thinking you know what God you can see what they're doing why are you not doing nothing at all we're gonna get to the bottom of this tonight stay favored when you wake up and you realize that there is a debt that you need to pay but you're a bit short because you don't have the money to do what you want to do the children need clothes the house needs to be refurbished I'm talking to someone right now. It might, it might not be you. It might be someone that you know. God has decided to bless you. And you cannot stop that blessing. Sarah could not stop that blessing. Amen. Get this right. Get this right in your spirit. Get this right in your mind. Because Sarah done something wrong. God should have stopped that blessing. I said, because you decided to do it yourself. Nothing for you. Nothing can disqualify you from favor. When God favors you like David, you make a mistake. God forgives you. Why? Because Jesus Christ, Jesus, Dave, David said, my legs were not broken. He said, I was thirsty. He was seeing the death of Jesus Christ. Everyone said, God is the one that forgive David. God didn't forgive David. David tapped into Jesus. Oh, uh, that's a bit deep. That's a bit deep. Amen. I think I'm going too deep. Oh, yes. Are we getting this? Oh, yes. God did not forgive David because if he forgave David, he would have been wrong because they were still under the law. Oh, hold on. Ay, 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 somebody. <laughs> that's just a saying that we say now. Our family, when something is the Holy Spirit, we just give him a little bit of praise. We say, I, yai, yai. <laughs> I hope you are feeling this. Listen, God should have disqualified Sarah. God should have said, Because you've done this, because David was under the law, Jesus hadn't come yet. But when you can see, he said to Abraham, Whatever you can. Whatever you can see will be yours. That's why the devil puts images in your head. Oh, this is going to change you, even if you don't like it. This is going to change that child, even if you don't like it. Because these words are not mine. They're the words of God. As soon as I came on camera, I committed everything into God's hands. I depend on him 100%. 
That's why the revelation is not written down. It's just coming. I'm just downloading. You have to learn to download favor. Learn to download favor into your life. Remember that God has favored you. God told him. God told you. When, and just towards the end, let's get this. And we're going to close. Amen. And then we're going to have our community. We'll make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be powerful. Hagar was told by an angel, where are you going? Go back to your mystery. Uh-uh. Hey, go back. You don't, you don't know why I'm coming. There are some people that God will tell you to go back. Because you need them in your life. You need them to grow. You need them to develop. God needs that person to say horrible things to you. So you can. You can make the right decisions because Holy Ghost is directing you. You're not directing yourself. Hallelujah. Whatever you see is yours. I think that's a good place to stop this right now. I hope you enjoyed part two. Remember, make sure this is official and subscribe if you want to see part three. Okay? Obviously, we, 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 we're expecting your testimonies. We're expecting your 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 your, your prayer requests. Um, you know, I have a family of six people, and and we love to pray. We love to we love to get together and pray. We have our challenges, yes, but those challenges make us better. Don't run away from your challenges. Run towards your challenges. Love you. Stay favored. Amen. something but you hold it back 
Why? Because you're trying, you, you won't let, allow that spirit to come into your house and take over. You're too busy walking in favour. You're too busy being blessed by God. You haven't got time to be messing around with the enemy. Amen? Amen. We're going to see that Hagar goes through exactly that. She starts to mess with the enemy and she takes things into her own hands. Let's read. Continue. With Abraham to be his secondary wife, he went into the bed of Hagar. He went into the bed of Hagar, yeah. God's promise to Abraham included his descendants and the promised one. This no, that's it, thank you. Continue from the other page. <laughs> okay, right now, wherever you are, you need to go and get some Ribena. If you've got wine, you can use wine. <laughs> okay, um, it's up to you what you choose to use. You can use water. We're about to take the communion, and God's about to do something special in your life. Stay favoured, and remember. Okay, now that you're back, and you've got your... Um, you've got, we've got some bread here today, and we've got some... some, some some wine. Um, it's not about what you have, it's about how you see what you have. Okay, let's take this communion, wherever you are right now. Um, first we're going to start with the body of Christ because that was broken first. The body of Christ was broken first, then the blood flowed. Uh, maybe I should stop this, it's a bit deep. Amen? Amen. You're going to get too much revelation at once. <laughs> okay. Wherever you are right now, take your slice of bread with me and you, your family and, you know, introduce this to your children. It will change their lives, it will change their destiny and it will be like a source of um, remembrance to clear their mind right now because Jesus died for, for us. The Bible says that he was not a sinner, but he died as a sinner in our place. So this is why it says in Corinthians that, please do this in remembrance of me. He said he knew, he knew that we needed to remember him to, to, to overcome any challenge. Are you getting this? Okay. Father God, we take this bread. And all you need to do to take the communion properly, okay, is to receive properly. It's just to shut yourself down and, and, and just have it in your mind that, you know what, thank you, Jesus, for doing this. And just keep on saying that. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this for me. And, and you realize that you're favored. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Jesus, for doing this for me. Thank you for breaking this for me. Thank you for acknowledging me and remembering me. I'm not forsaken or forgotten, even though I feel forgotten. Thank you. I take your body and I receive everything that it has to offer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go and move straight on to the blood. I, I want to take some more bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I did. You know, you know, I have to eat. Yeah, people, <laughs> please don't be annoyed. <laughs> My family looks at me like, ah, ah, daddy, one piece now. Where do you rest for everybody? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just pass that around to your family. Take time to pass it around. Everyone, take a piece. Take a piece, take a piece of Jesus Christ, wherever you are. Okay. Get ready for the blood of Christ. Amen. A lot of people are like, yes, the blood of Christ, finally. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there, was, there was something very funny. There was a woman that always said, ah, blood of Jesus against you. Blood of Jesus against you. Blood of Jesus against you. And, and, and. The, 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 the prophet said, uh uh, woman, leave some blood of Jesus for me too now. Eh? You know I need it. <laughs> yeah, you might not have got that, but that was that was actually supposed to be for me. Okay. Alright, let's get moving on. Amen. This is the favor channel. You are welcome to my family, to my home, and I welcome into yours. We're doing this together, and you will never be poor again. I'm just prophesying to you, you know, you know, when I'm just speaking over your life, you, you say amen, you're not looking at me, you're looking at Jesus Christ, don't look at the way I look, don't look at my presentation, look at Jesus Christ and the Jesus that I'm presenting to you, amen, amen. look at Jesus Christ 
and uh, Jesus, I'm presenting to you the one that gave you all things. Let's get this done now. Holy Spirit is telling me, let's move on, Mr. Man. Don't talk too much. It's a, it's a gift. Yeah, please don't be annoyed. Okay, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The blood was shed so many times. It started in Gethsemane. He bled in Gethsemane. Because in Gethsemane, something happened. Look, I don't want to take time. I don't want to start preaching again before they say, ah, perfect, see? The enemy is a liar. <laughs> Some people will say that every time something happens. <laughs> How do you know it's not angels around you that's trying to get your attention? Ah, fire! Fire them! Fire them! Fire! Uh, uh, leave some fire for us too, please. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's good to laugh. The enemy hates you laughing. You need to learn to laugh. You need to learn to just relax a little bit more and take God at his word. Amen? Okay, the blood of Jesus was shed for us. He died and he released his blood. He said, by the blood you have been washed clean. David said, wash my iniquities away. Then when you get washed, you get given a brand new heart. Some of you need a brand new heart. We're talking, we're talking physical heart. We're talking physical miracles. If you take this, a miracle will take place in your life. Say amen to that. Amen. As you take this. A miracle will be activated in your life. Amen. The Jesus Christ in you will arise and take over that sickness. The Jesus Christ in you will arise and take over that situation. Amen. As long as you don't go back to it, you don't dig it up, you don't, you don't, you don't tell yourself, "Uh, uh-uh, it didn't work or it didn't work." No, just receive and believe. It's yours, and you'll conceive. Amen. Oh, I love when I do that. <laughs> Amen. Just Amen. believe and receive. And take it, it's yours, you'll conceive. Whatever you give birth to is what God will bless. Amen. 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 Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you for doing me. I receive it in its fullness. And whoever is doing this with me, let them receive your fullness as well. Amen. Amen. Just pass it around to your family as per usual. And you know what? I clap for you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Watch God's activity right now. Something good has already happened and it's going to take place today. Just receive it and believe it and it's yours. I love you. We hope to meet together next week at 12, 2 o'clock. We normally start at 2 o'clock, but you know, uh, it's, it's this YouTube team. You know, they, 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 some of... When you are anointed by God, somebody has to challenge you and stop you. But we love you too. We love you too. Remember, your family's favoured. You're not forgotten or forsaken. And don't allow your peace to be taken or shaken. <laughs> God bless you. See you soon. Uh, this, thing, this thing must stop now. I'm pressing okay. the can't, can't, hey, hey, Come on, stop.